You know how I want to start? I just want to start like, Razor, how was 2020 for you? Because obviously, for most people, it was mad, isn't it? But how was it for you personally, would you say? Do you know what? Yeah, I can't complain. Mm. I could complain, but a lot of people had it a lot worse. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man. It's, it's like what I do for day job stuff, like my work is doable from home. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I wasn't ever worried about like, oh, how am I going to pay rent or this and that? And like, again, I don't live with like my family. I don't live with like any vulnerable people. Do you know what I mean? So, just me and a couple of 20 something year old people in the house, you know what I mean? Just kind of watching the world go by and being like, shit, man. Uh, and I swear, to, to edit all of yeah, that. Yeah, shit. no, no, man. We're, we're ruthless uh, there. We're ruthless I can't ask there. if I can swear. What the swear fuck? <laughs> Jesus. This is ruthless over here. <laughs> see ya, see ya. But yeah, no, man, no. Safe for coming on, man. Really, like, obviously, like, I've been following Keep Hush's thing since like 2018. And obviously, I've I've seen you MC there like a couple of times and I've, I've been rating a thing for time, innit? So it's good to have you on the pod and like, yeah, just like, I kind of just want you to get, get you to talk about your journey and like your, your rise in the scene, if you can. Yeah, man. Love, man. Um, we don't keep watching each and every time, innit? Because like, even though they come in like slightly later into like what I was doing, like they've been... Yeah, they've been sick. They've been going on sick. They've been there for sick, bare sick stuff. But um, I don't know. Like, I'm from I'm from Hackney, innit? So if the ends. Yeah, when where I grew up, like when I grew up there, like everybody had a little bar. Everybody had a little wheel up bar. Everybody had like a little four bar that they would spit to each other or just you get gassed and people even would spit someone else's bar and like all of that. So I would always just rap bars and then. Yeah, like through school and stuff, I was always just the guy who like would write bars or MC and stuff like that. And at uni, I was the guy who MC wrote bars and stuff like that. And then it was probably around like them kind of times and I was like, oh, maybe I should take this music thing a bit more seriously. And then I started going radio and like playing their like sort of like uni raves. So you know when everyone's like cussing like the fans of Grime that they might not like. <clears throat> talking about that, like, oh, these guys, the white boys from the uni rave, I just want to listen to that's not me. Yeah, hold tight, them, man. They're mine, man. They put money in my pocket for years, isn't it? Like, yeah, like, my mom's playing Bristol, Southampton, Bournemouth, Brighton, all of them places, isn't it? And then come back to London, and it's like, it's different. Do you know what I mean? It's London, isn't it? So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's more saturated over here, too. Yeah, uh, I think the love shown in London though, like in like places like Bristol, like up north, like let's say in Birmingham, there's more love for grime up there than in London. I think the love for the grime has definitely died in London compared to some other places, unfortunately. Which I'm not too sure why, but you know, a place like Bristol, you know, saying like Birmingham, they they know is we're, 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 we're spoiled here, isn't it? We've got Af- we've got the Afro swing sound, we've got the jewel mm. sound, so we're we're kind of like the spoiled child in, in London, to be honest. Yeah, <clears throat> and London is London, isn't it? Like, nobody's trying to, I don't know if this is just not my personal perception in it, but it's, if, from what I've seen, yeah, like, Bristol MCs or people from, like, the Midlands even, like, that's not even one city or town, isn't it? But they'll all, like, rep for each other. They'll be like, oh, big up my man, because my man's been doing his thing and he's from where I'm from, isn't it? And, like, even where I'm from, like, if you go left down that road, that's the ops. If you go right down that road, that's the ops. Like, them man won't play your music. You can't play his music in the whip going through them ends. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, London's so big, but at the same time, I think it's like saturation in it, but not like saturation necessarily of like artists, but like it's maybe of like allegiances and like interests and shit. Yeah, and you, you know what it is as well, like, my thing is, I think the biggest issue in London is pride as well. Like, man, them don't want to big up other man them. It's that simple. It's like, what, like, uh, if I rate his thing, but my thing's not popping as much, I'm thinking, you know what? Let me let me not say anything about his thing in it because that might overshadow my thing that's going on. And I think that's it's that short-sighted, thing. though. Yeah, it's that's to the detriment of us, too, because... 
Mm. You see, like, obviously, the Birmingham man and the Manchester man, and when they do that, their thing, that's how their thing busts. Bro, like, like one example, have you seen the, do you know the Groundwork Cypher? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on there. Like, the Birmingham man, they came through with just different energy. And it was mm. like, even though it was a drill, obviously, like, drill, not really grind, but the energy they came on was just different. Like, they were hungry for this shit. And, like, they all rep for themselves, where in London is obviously a lot more fragmented. You're not really going to get a lot of London, man. Yeah, everyone's on their pride thing. Right? Everyone's on That's their the... pride. And to be fair, at the end of the day, obviously, bear shit has happened. So a lot of people, you know what I mean? There's shit that's happened. But um, my yeah, thing is, what, what, like, what, people what, are like that. They've got good reason to be like that. Mm, Some of them are like, yeah. it's not necessarily an arbitrarily good reason, but mm. there is a reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. If somebody's done like, I remember like flipping... When them and were fighting on the plane. Yeah. And um, Hedy. And Hedy. Yeah. And Tion Wayne and Hedy. Tion Wayne were fighting on the plane. And man were like, oh, what, you man have got peas? Why are you stopping, bro? Like, like, I understand, like, from their perspective, they don't get it, in it, like, but, you know what I mean? There's certain people who've done certain things to my friends or whatever, in it, like, and obviously the way that I conduct myself is different from the way certain men conduct themselves, in it, but... It's never gonna be like, oh, I'm so comfy now. We can be cool. You know what I mean? It's like it is it's sticky. Maybe it's less sticky up there in terms of that. Like there's obviously still badness going on, but I don't know where it is, man. They have like a proper spirit. Yeah, but, yeah. but, I do but think- my, my thing is what what is beef in it? Like obviously, yeah, if it's if bodies are involved, then yeah, that's that's definitely in it. But if no one's been dropped, my thing is like, if we can get peace together, why don't we just say, you know what, let's just, let's just kind of just forget about what's happened if bodies ain't been dropped and just let's come together and get peace because that's that's what they do in Atlanta and you see that they're, they're popping, isn't it? When so you say you what is beef, yeah. Yeah, I hear, I hear what you're saying, definitely. It's not just bodies though, like, I'm not one of them MCs where it's like, oh, he said, you, he said, suck your mum to me. He needs to die. Like, I'm not that mm, bad. Mm, mm, mm. But if you take, if you take too much violation, eventually everyone starts to think that you can be taken for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't become the norm. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. Like, you know, as a, like, as a black man or as a man from like certain like, sort of environments, that's just a survival thing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Let alone before you add the layer of rap on top of it or grime or whatever, do you know what I'm saying? Which is naturally combative. Mm. They're naturally going at each other, especially on grime sets. Mm. It's definitely embedded in the culture of like grime, like drill, that whole confrontational aspect of, you know, like you have to get on, get at a certain man. But like, I think a lot of people need to see the bag a bit more. Like, you don't need to, like, I think that plain situation with Hedy and like Tion Wayne, I just thought that's just an L. No, it was dumb. It was dumb. It was dumb. Because at the end of the day, that can just mess up your situation where you can't go travel. So you can't even go to Dubai, fam. Bro, and that's where the bag is. Bro, that's where the bag is. At the end of the day, what? So you, that beef that you had with my man is it more important than a bag you're gonna? Like, me you know, personally, mm. I wouldn't be. I've like let mad stuff go. Yeah. In in the name of securing the bag, do you know what of I'm saying? And I'm I'm not known as the patient one or anything. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not a oh yeah like Ray he's always so like he's, nah that's not who I am in it but if there's peas involved if there's something constructive involved then I'll put that to one side for a minute mm. you know what I'm saying but then when I look at like when I look at like certain scenarios um, I can't tell somebody else because mm. I know if the situation was different for example like here's like here's like a day job example yeah a man got rude in, in, in a mad way, yeah, and just was saying some racially insensitive shit to me. Was it like, colonizer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've gotten angry or whatever, but I haven't banged him or anything, you know what I mean? I haven't bugged out, I haven't shouted at him or nothing, innit? Like, I'm thinking, like, this is what I eat, this is what I secure the bag, so, do you know what I mean? <laughs> now, yeah. when I think about how much they were paying me, yeah, and this was long ago, innit, like, but when I think about how much they were paying me there for what I was doing, and how much I earn now for what I do now, I should have just banged, man, and then gone to HR. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. No. No, do you know why? Do you know, do you know why? Because like, even me, when I work at work, if I give them a hint of blackness, bro, oh, my God. Oh, my, oh, bro. Oh, they're going to shoot. Yeah, shaking yeah. the net. Bro, you know, shaking the net. Active contract. Uh, 
like a contract, but um, no, yeah, you know what? Like, I can't like if I see someone who's in the position I was in, like however many years ago, and they've seen they've got some mad violation, and they've taken it because of a sum of money that I now feel that I'm beyond. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I can't judge them based on what I'm on. That's how yeah. I see. Yeah. It's, yeah, everyone's got a different perspective, innit? So, yeah, like, even. Who like to some people ten thousand is nothing in it, but to most men, them ten thousand is a lot of money. Yeah, I could do ten bags. I could do ten bags too. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a thing where like it's it's where you're at at that moment, in it. So it's like, well, I could say I I could say no to ten bags, but I want I want a good reason to say no. In it, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's, like, so like, you know what it is. I need a reason to say yes, bro. Must have ten bags. No, you know what it is. Some, no, no, some people roll on principle. Nah. No you know how much Gucci yeah. I can buy for ten bags, bro? I could say no to it if my morals were on the line, my integrity. Yeah, that, it's bro. about but principle. Nah, bro. Nah, but, nah, but, nah, but nah. It needs to be a good, good reason. It can't just be like, oh, so and so on Twitter was gonna say that you're. Right, cool. Would you make a song with a racist for ten bags? Let's get it. Like, oh no, no, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Twenty bags. No, 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 no! Half no, a million you... pounds. You have to have some integrity, bro. Jesus Christ. On. One point two million pounds. In 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 cash, no tax. Cash. You get tax on it, obviously. It's the, it's the white man's world. Uh, keep going off. Two mil. Basically, I need to buy everyone in my family a yard on one cul-de-sac. So when people start tweeting me, like, oh, you made a song with my man. I'm going to tweet a picture of me and my whole fam, my whole extended fam, bring people from Nige, all on what our cul-de-sac that we've taken over. And I'm going to be like, listen, the cost for your one rhythm with a racist done, yeah, it was my generational wealth. Nah, I'll do it for school. It. Because no, 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 because... Man, them are making tunes with brothers that have been accused of fuckery. Let's be real. Let's be real. It's true. True. Abusers are out here making tunes with certain man. Um, never say nothing. Just certain man. Certain man catch flack on the timeline and nothing sticks. So it's okay. Hey. Get me. Fam, that's what hey. like we said this before. It's about clout. If you got clout, you literally. You can get away with murder. Bro, clout is currency. Like, I, That's I don't change. really care in it. I'll, I'll say the names in it. Man, them like Dutchavelli, man, them like Octavian. Ooh, 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 they're, ooh, they're doing ooh. madnesses, but. Oh, you know what? AC Uncut, you know? Oh my AC God. AC fam, I'm there, fam. This is I, one of the girls' clout to work. I'm joking. But you know what it is, fam? Because <laughs> obviously, like, I got two sisters in it, so I'm about women's rights as well, like, so. If you're no, then yeah. mad, especially especially about younger girls, like it's it's different for me personally. But the thing I'm is, like, but, bro, yeah, but, what's, but what's mad though is like it's not even it's not even to the to the depth of like with like girl like younger girls and stuff like that. It's even just on a day to day basis. As like men, the exactly. best shit we it's do, girls in general, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like the best shit we do, we don't even realize that we're kind of just asserting male like dominance in that situation. Like it's fucked, and it's just like as men, we don't really even realize. Because even, obviously, all of us men have been in clubs where, you know, like, a man's just moving wild. Like, just, you know, hey, what? Like girls... Have like, you ever been to a gay bar? Have you ever been to a bar on a gay night? I have, I can't even lie. I have. Yeah. yeah. In Hull. Yeah. In Hull, yeah. Now, I went uni in Brighton, isn't it? So, if I lie about <laughs> it, it's... it's, it's fam, fam, you can't even lie, fam. Need, you know, my my best mate been, went uni in Brighton. I've, I've been to a bar, and they were doing a gay night, innit? it? And it was, do you know what? Yeah, it was the same as going to that bar every other time I've been there, innit? Mm. Shit. But, but you know the maddest thing? The maddest thing is, same thing. girls feel more comfortable in the gay bar. Mad thing, yeah? That's what I'm saying. And I was like, I went with one of my brethren, yeah, from uni, yeah? And he felt mad uncomfortable, yeah? Because a guy moved, a guy moved to him, innit? He was calm before, innit? He's not, mm. you know what I mean? He's not, like, prejudiced or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. He's quite a feminine, innit? So a couple people have been like, this mm. is my man, this is my man day. And I'm like, no, nah, bro, he gets more poops than you, bro. Don't watch him. <laughs> you know? Like, he's just, just comfy, you know what I'm saying? So he's comfy, and then a big brother's moved to him. Man, yeah. Too. You see the way man grabbed him, yeah? And we must have been outside, yeah, smoking a cigarette, yeah? My man's like, bro, like, bro, I don't know if I can go back inside. And the girls that we come with, they're all creasing at man. They're like, no! And we're like, what, what? Why are you laughing? Why do 
They're, just, they're like, that's what every single fucking nightclub trip is like for me. Wow. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's you know. in the shop, walking that's through the true. corridor at school, getting on a bus, being on the tube, getting in an Uber, delivery man coming to my door. Like, it's peak. No, it's true, bro, it's true. fucked. Like, you know what, bro? No, the thing is, what's, what's mad is, like, when you get some man that don't get it where they're saying, like, not all men, that, that hashtag. Like, what's annoying is, man, like, they're not talking about like, how can I say, like, every man, they're not saying, oh, you're a this and you're a that. They're just saying this shit happens to us on a daily basis. Like, they can't even, women can't even walk home, like, late at night, bro. It's peak. They just can't do it. If you're gonna be, I'm... Even if you're going to be flippant, bro, it is actually all men, like, yeah, how it's all men. Can, how many men can say that you've never seen your brethren be a scumbag to a woman? Bro, exactly. And what do we do? Never seen that's just my man. Mm. Be a scumbag to a woman. Bro, I mean, the worst, we the just, worst thing uh, is, though, is like, uh, the, the problem is, even with like that Sarah Everett case, mm. a bunch of guys like try to dominate the hashtag by saying, yeah, it's only one man in this whole instance. And it's like, yeah, but, yeah, that's, but not the, that's not the um, point. It's, um, it's a conversation. Um, how many men are doing this shit even on a small scale mm. and obviously you've got like this big scale. Case. that's the mad thing it's not even it's a small mad because because like Everywhere. imagine like women with like uh, we, there was that vigil in clapham yeah yeah which which was a peaceful vigil and actually it was male police officers that used aggression to split it up and they were moving mad it's like obviously there's a fucking problem and like obviously like I think this is the thing is like you got to, it's all about accountability when everyone's back in clubs on the, you just got to be aware I of it I said it bro I said it I tweeted it if I see any madnesses in clubs I with them, I'm I'm, bro, I'm spinning jaws I'm spinning jaws you know what yeah, as a social media but like I work in social media that's what my day job's in yeah and I will say one thing yeah you see when stuff like not all men trends in the light of something like what happened to Sarah Everard Mm. Um, that's like a social media sort of like wormhole thing mm. Mm. like I'm not saying this with any sort of it happens with you know it happens with Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter mm. it happens with um, feminism movements and misogynistic things that people say it happens with like all kinds of stuff yeah basically what happens is imagine all of us four yeah on the timeline and we've seen an ignorant person tweet not all men, yeah. That ignorant person is one person tweeting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we all four <laughs> court tweet it and chip in our two pence, it True. becomes five people. Then he replies to all of us. Now it's ten tweets. Then you know what I mean. I Other people mean, yeah. see it. Other people are supporting you know us. Who that's do that as well? Like, it's just like when kidding? it's like when those newspapers tweeted that um, Stormzy was like Lukaku. Basically, they there's mm-hmm. like. There's a purpose behind it, basically. They're That's not, why they're, I don't engage with that shit. When it's wrong, like, I've got a journalism degree in it. Like, believe you me, nobody working in these places is making those mistakes on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. 100%. That's the truth. 100%. 100%. 100%. It's not, it's not but you know They know what they're doing. They know what do they're know, doing. But you know what pisses me off is the fact that, like, like black outrage is commodity, is, is, that they're prophesying of that shit. That shit pisses me off because they're doing it, yeah. They actually feel no way to just do that shit just to make pee. But that shit is actually fucking jarring as fuck. Just to always see them. Like, it's just, it's just bare annoying. But it is what it is, I guess. That's why I left what I was doing before. Um, when I was working, before I was working in that, I was like, in that. like them man, on, on them fucking videos and that. And man, man left there because I was just like, right, this is actually, firstly, every other thing that we post is an advert. Now I can advertise in it. Mm. I was like, I might as well just work in advertising and cut out the middleman. Like, what the fuck is this? Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, in advertising, it's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're bastards. We're selling you stuff. We're evil. We want your data. It's like, at least we're honest about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, fuck them and pretending that they're telling you the news or trying to sell you content. And they're actually just, they've got their agenda. They've got their donors. They've got what they're trying to get peace for. Like, it's, it's the most toxic thing. I would say, Number, you know when people are like Stardom is killing my people mm-hmm. Information is killing my people On a big man flip Stardom is saving our people no, I, I'm Stardog is saving our people I'm a ch- Lack of information is killing our people Lack of information Because bear my niggas would be stupid But <laughs> <laughs> bear niggas. Nah, They're not even dumb They're not even stupid Yeah, They lack 
critical thinking. Yeah, I've got a brethren who thinks that the earth is flat, like he's super oh, convinced. No, no, no. He's oh. super convinced. And, yeah, I'm, you know and when, when this drops, I'm going to clip it and send it to him. And it's like, bro, I was talking about you. I said it. You're not dumb, but you lack critical thinking. No, but like it annoys me. But it's just because it's like it's so unnecessary to be wrong. Like, why? Why? Bro, you know That's what the matter thing is, though. He's got two years, and I asked him one day. I was like, yo, let's say the earth is flat. What difference does that make to your life and your ability to look after your youth and have a like, happy and healthy and fulfilled life? He was like, oh, it's a big difference, bro. I was like. Explain it to me. He was like, if you don't get it, you're not going to get it. Oh, my this God. This I'm saying. The loud is too loud. The loud is too loud. Oh my God. The loud I have is not loud enough. If you've got loud, that loud, actually, do you know what? Yeah. Sometimes he surprised me with my loud and I feel a bit slow. Like, so you're talking about your dealer. That's basically what you're talking about. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's your dealer. That's your dealer. <laughs> Why are you disrespecting your dealer? I don't have a dealer. <laughs> But yeah, no, kind of obviously you spoke I know, about people you use that on trap star jumpers. That's it. It's good, it's good. Obviously, it's trap star, wait, 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 pause. Just just jumpers. before just before you do move on, hey, like Razor, can you just see like what Denzel's wearing? Can you tell can you just tell him as an L? He's wearing a do rag right. and then a hat on top, bro. I don't like it. I know, but you're like you're like when was the last time you got a haircut? Oh shit, shit. Hey, hey edit edit this. Edit all of this. No, I'm, I'm keeping all this in. Now, edit and, all yeah, of this shit. Because look, my man, edit, edit, all of that. I swear to God, if you don't edit this shit, edit all. My name is Razor, and my shit wow. is clean. You know what I mean? So, Why did I receive I smoke? Cream, cream, cream. I start from Why did I receive yeah, smoke? I peak, it? Like, Why did I get smoke? This is. Like, I just came with smoke for him. He just gave me smoke. That's why. Oh my God! What's up? I'm so angry right now. Yeah, because I gave you smoke. You're meant to back the thing. What? You do? Oh my god. Oh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Before you start recording, yeah, what was the first thing I said when I come in the room? <laughs> I, what did I say? I can't remember. What was I saying? You were trying worse. That's what you're doing. Is it? Shut the you're fuck up, you dickhead, bro. Like a fucking pharaoh, bitch. I am a kid. I'm, I'm a pharaoh. I'm a king. You're come, you dickhead, blood. You pussy. I'm a emperor, fam. That's why I am. You pharaoh, cunt, bitch. Come on. Whore. Because uh, I, that's I hate you people. <laughs> you people make me sick coming and taking our jobs. No, I swear, I swear Denzel actually color coordinated with the, the do rag, the green of the do rag with the green on the hat. You see that? Mm. You're different. Nah, that's yeah, he's foolish, bro. That's that's what he is, bro. Um, but yeah, let's move let's move on. <laughs> nah, nah, we're not moving on. <laughs> moving moving, moving on. swiftly <laughs> along. Oh, yeah, my no, no, moving on. Come like Piers Morgan. Come so, on, come on, come on. Hey, wait, hold on. Mega Mark of my team, obviously. Yeah, I want to yeah. say that for a social clip of Michael, um, um, MIC, Mike Antifa, whatever oh, he calls yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Right. Talking nonsense about the king. Fam, Jay Z oh, is the course. best rapper ever. Bro. That's why I come here with, with, with smoke. Because but you like, know what? Let me, let me just say this point. Let me just say this point. No consequences. Jay Z. Was born on the same day that Fred Hampton died. Can I ask you a question? No, can I ask you a question? What's it got to do with anything? What did I have to do with anything? Universe, bro. Do you not? He gets it. Do you not get nah, that? Nah. You not get obviously, it. you're not tapped you're not in. You're not tapped in. Nah, nah, nah. Razor's tapped in. He knows. I actually you know. get it, you know. No, good. Like this. I don't like this guest. No, next one. Like Jay Z's like basically guy. like like he's continued Fred Hampton's. What is he keep, talking keep about? Reaching, keep reaching. No, keep reaching. Now, Razor yeah, gets it, bro. Keep reaching. Back it, back it, back it, back it, back it, wait, wait, back it, back it. You have to back it. Wait, 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 wait. Google it. What? JC, no, 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 no. What? I know that it's a fact. So, <laughs> it's a fact. No, you know it's a fact. Like, yeah, the universe. The loud packs. I'm with it. I'm with it. You, you know, that's that star dog, you know. Jay-Z, that, that, that's but the anyway, cool. no, no, no. You man them Google it and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. What you say? Google what? Anyway, you might have like a rhyme, right? Yeah, oh. no. Basically, yeah. And he put that in um um what's the fruit oh, wow. that was above. That's a that's a tweet. Yeah, that, that's the bar arrived on the day Fred Hampton died, yeah, basically. Yeah, I know the bar, but that's a tweet. Yeah, that is a tweet. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Jay Z is obviously fighting <laughs> for our people. How is he fighting for our people, bruv? No, that's why I said like I wouldn't do like I can I can get down with the first bit, but I can't 
you know what I mean? Because Fred Hampton, you, you see him there. Fam, he's got, like, fam, fam Jay-Z's done things, socialism. fam. You know what it is? He, bro, Fred Hampton said you got to fight capitalism with socialism, um, socialism. And Jay-Z said, what's better than one black billionaire? Two. Two, yeah. Yeah, bro, like. But fam, who can make the, mo- who can make the most difference, honestly? Wait, whoa. Who can make the most difference? What do you mean? I'm being honest, fam. Land, land in fam. Land. People with money, like, look, think about the people who do the most charity. You want to have my Bill face. Gates. Like. Bezos. Uh, Bezos. They're the man them who do the most charity. Like, us, yeah, we can do charity. They don't. They but don't. They don't do charity. Do, they don't. They what do. the hell? What you say? No, they don't. Bill Gates gives away half of his money, fam. Bro, I'm no. Well, we are not going you know to. How much you get taxed? Exactly. You know how much Bill I'm not, makes. We are I'm not, not going to congratulate fucking facts, billionaires though. for giving away money they should not I'm have. I'm saying facts, though, fam. It's facts. Nah, nah, nah. If yeah, but, bro, but everyone can say that. More than a everyone can say. Huh? You, you know like, what? I'm gonna create no. a Patreon page right now. What the hell? Man said, man's trying to big up the fucking... Nah, I'm not no bigging way. them up. I'm saying facts. If you're a billionaire, you can do a lot more than a millionaire can for people. It's, of it's course just you can do more, but you're not no going to do it. It's logical. Exactly. No, exactly. no one needs to actually be, even be a millionaire. No, no, yeah, no, I'm not saying you need to be. I'm just saying... Uh, if yeah, you, of course. Right. No, but like the way the world works, like the fact that we've got fucking poverty does not make sense. Does not make any sense. Yeah, but fam, that's how the world wow. works, isn't it? <laughs> Bro... I was, in, I was in Nigeria, bro. Fucking the richest, richest black man in the world lives in Nigeria, and it, and people eating, drinking water out of a bag. Don't piss me. That's bro. capitalism, isn't it? Um, it's, it's corruption. It's that's peak, what that is. It? It's corruption. That's human nature, man. That's human nature. Yeah. That's that. Like, but it's a shame, though. It's a shame because I think man. there's definitely enough resources to go around. Like, really, the world runs off money, but what is actually money? I mean, you shouldn't be it's stopping paper, isn't it? So, yeah. but you know what I was just it's thinking about, though. Money. But when, when MIC was saying all that about Jay-Z, I don't think he actually said who was better than Jay-Z. Fam, for me, Jay-Z's number one. I can't even lie. You like, know what, yeah? There's no like, one. I remember saying that Nas Z. is better than Jay-Z based on lyrics and this, that, and the other, and Illmatic, and I love Nas. I'm a lyric guy, and... No. I love Nas as well. No. No, he's not. No, he's not. If you listen, you listen to Nas, you listen to Jay-Z... Even Jay Z's double entendres are better than Nas's. No offense. He might have been one of like he might have been like literally not pun fully intended the blueprint for a lot of the fucking source that we see still. And you know what, man, them forget. Man, them forget that labels didn't want Jay Z. Mm. Jay Z had to come in this thing independent Mm, to, mm. to cut through. So people see Jay-Z building that thing, but they forget man didn't cut through until he was 26. To be fair though, I rate his thing though, because he's been around for such a long time. Like, he's a but proper... that shows you that, as Razor said, that shows your blueprint. The mm. people who cut through on their own thing always last longer. Yeah. And the people who think... come through with a label, they always stay out. Yeah, but that like, rap's changing though. Like, you don't really get artists like that anymore. Like, Bam, even, trust me, Ken... they... Mm. Stormzy, AJ Tracy, all independent. But they signed yeah. later, but they came through independent. The thing is with AJ Tracy, he's like big, he's proper big in this thing, but I, I just don't really enjoy his music the same way though. But with him being independent, AJ's, I guess he's hitting the bag and he's hitting. cold, man. Do he's you know cold to me that? as well. I can't even like no, 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 wait, hold on. For me personally, mm. I I can't. My thing is, I'm very upfront with my thing, and I'm very direct about it. Yeah, and you see AJ Tracy, I have to give, I have to show him and Zoo mm. a lot of respect. Yeah, of course. And my they first, they yeah, came through radar radio as well. So, so but before the thing is- all of that, like when I first went on Mode FM, yeah, it was in 2015. My first set on Mode was with them, man, and I think PK was there, and yeah, those were the original man, them basically. Yeah, 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 like. Mm. Them man, yeah, you see the way that they grafted. Do you know how many men are in that like, were there at that time? Mm. Like, I had just started doing that, but do you know how many men were there at that time going all the time, every week, every other week? And like, for them to be where they're like, man, with these track lists the other day with T Pain on it. Do you, to be fair, like, I like, yeah. I understand what you're saying on that flex. Like, when it comes to like grafting that, I think them man 
Yeah, it works, yeah, but yeah, you, can't, you can't dispute it. You can't dispute it. it. It's just a fact of, I think, where AJ's music's changed. No, you're right. Kind of the quality of his music isn't as good, to be honest. I just, don't, I just don't enjoy it now, but I always say with men, artists kind of go in that direction where they evolve to something else. If that's kind of what they want to do and also, well, that's what's getting them in the bag, then fair play, in it. Then maybe I'm not going to listen to that music the same way, but like for yeah. me, packages AJ, that's... God, that's like the AJ I fuck with, like Nyla, that's like what I like, in it? But kind of where he's kind of evolved to fair enough he's getting in the bag he's independent like do your thing but it's not like what i want to listen to but just that's just music in it that like, artists evolve i guess in them in them situations i think with grime it's always kind of like that grime is a genre yeah, where people are a fan of the genre as opposed to being fans of artists who generally make that genre is grime dead huh is grime dead See this question yeah um, this is the this is the Impossible. most topical question Impossible. of all time. I think you know what we've actually spoken about this same question like yeah, three episodes a in a row. Times, yeah. Impossible, impossible. I can I can't I can't entertain I can't even entertain the insinuation that Graham has been dead in the past ten years at any point in time. No, I got the music so dead. Why, like, everyone that does Graham is dead. Graham is dead. dead. You know, you don't you why, don't why? believe that. Wait, hold on, hold on. You don't believe that. Why are you capping? Oh, it gets on, dead. I'm capping, I'm capping, I'm capping. Is Manga, is Manga saying hello dead? Is B Money dead? These are people that just released the Grammy in the 140 bangers, bro. This is what I mean, isn't it? Anytime I want to talk about is Grime dead, what we're actually having a discussion about is does Grime have an image problem? And that I can double thumbs up and say, yes, it does. But what do you think? What do you think? But sad note, I, I was joking by the way when I said I know, that. I know, I know, yeah. I know. No, no, just for just for me. Let me have but that. Let me you have, have that. to. You have to. You have to. Like but like, in in terms of the image angle, what, what, like, what do you think the image problem is? Because from my point of view, just to play devil's advocate, the like well, the teenagers, ad- teenagers. Need an advocate, Jude. Because you oh didn't, you didn't need, you didn't need it. Is it necessary? I just come off the phone from from my mom and I hold my mom's. Wait, oh, I'm I'm Wait, but like in terms, of, <laughs> in terms of like the image problem, do you think like yeah, w- yeah. what do you think makes Joe more marketable at the moment than Grime? Because Joe is what the, the the Ollie from Shropshire is listened to, and the, or the Gary from fucking Plymouth. That's yeah, what they're listening. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What Ollie from Shropshire wants to listen? Yeah, to but like they they they're, 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 they're the money maker. They're, 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 they're the money makers. They, they put the money in the in the pockets. Bro, nah, bro. but nah, you know what? I'm going to stop you there, yeah? Because I do think there's a point where you have to separate money from integrity because at the end of the day, I think the grime the grime is dead debate, yeah, is all about your perception of where grime is now. There are people all around the country that are still checking for grime and very much believe grime is still there. Mm. Whereas for, for the rest of us to say grime is dead we're cancelling out all the rest of the people, including MCs, including producers, that are still mm. in Grime. The, 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 the thing is about How? Grime, the thing is with Grime, which is kind of like, it's quite, it's kind of interesting to... Impossible. It, it's, it's not dead. It's not dead. So, like, do you know with the Groundwork Cypher that they that they had, when they were all barring, obviously they all, they're all quite, quite sick, but... Bro, that happens once and we come on Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, you can see, bro, you can see bro, exactly. You can see that on mode that on Friday ago. night. Wiley, but like, but the thing That's is, though. Wiley, bro. How are you going <laughs> to talk to me about Brian being dead? But the thing is, though. I'm a D and SPK chatting business. Graham is dead. But the thing, but the thing is, but, but the thing is that I noticed, which was funny, was like, the they didn't have as much like practice or like, how can I say that? Like, it wasn't as polished as like a grime set. Like I'll be honest, some of them, I'm not gonna say who, like they fumbled it. You know what I'm saying? Where in that's a grime set, that's not gonna happen. The the craftsmanship and the art of like, you know what I'm saying, of being able to bar on your like on your feet in a fucking pressure situation is something that hasn't really translated to drill. Cause I think with drills a bit more sensitive. You can't really chat shit about a man and then be in the same room with a man. Whereas in grime, you could be you could chat shit about a man, you both go in the room and fucking, you know what I'm saying, spit bars, but that whole craftsmanship. When I saw the groundwork cipher, I, like, I liked it, but I was like, ah. Oh, no, the energy at groundworks was beautiful. It was Bro, sick. sick. unrefined energy, skinny energy, and there was bare good energy there Bro, as well. Positive energy. You know what I'm saying? I see an East London man with West London man with Birmingham man with. You but know didn't, what I'm saying? didn't you find though that the Birmingham man like 
they kind of came with the like most cruddy energy. Like they came on. Oh. Smoke. Talking oh. about grime, yeah, best grime set of twenty twenty was Sir Spyro with the Brum Man. Oh, that was Trilla, right. Trilla and all them man. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was my I favorite said, grime man, set. Back in twenty twenty. Back in 2012, Brahma were carrying Graham. I can't even Bro, lie. when Graham died yeah. in London... In 2012, they I was in Coventry doing a year of uni that I basically wasted, and I can tell you for free, Birmingham MCs were... Birmingham MCs were... Yeah, they carried, Graham. they carried Graham. Oh, they carried Graham. Oh, they had money as well. But that's the thing, though. That's why you kind of find, like, right now, even with Birmingham, the way they handle drill, they come the hardest. Like, but the biggest artist when it comes to drill in the UK... It's millions. Arguably, it's millions. It's millions. It's millions. Bro, straight. And then straight. It's not even an saying. argument. He is. Who would you say is bigger than millions in the UK right now? Like millions, bro. He, he's the crazy. hottest, isn't it, fam? Like, yeah. obviously, Heady White right is now. the biggest. Yeah, Heady was like, a pop star. Mi- That's the thing. Mi- like, he's millions is a, he's hot. At hey, the what? So we're saying Heady's Heady's too big. No, Heady's a pop star. Like, Mi- yeah, yeah. Like, Heady's trans- he is, transcended. He is, 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 is millions that- bigger than? Is millions bigger than not, Diddy? Millions, millions mm. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I say, I say, like, I say he's not bigger than Heady. Well, what do you define? I wouldn't say that. But what do you actually define as a pop star, though? Um, so an artist that can kind uh, of that makes music that they want to make that can like chart successfully easily. Like it's like Skepta, for example. Skepta's a pop star in the sense of if Skepta drops nah, a tune. Skepta, nah, no, 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 this I don't, is way, not, no, 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 hear me, hear me. Uh, when I say, hear me, hear me. Let me land. 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 So when I say pop star, I don't mean in the drug reachy sense of your music shit and it's watered down and it's like music that is just for the masses. It's the fact that so you can make a tune and it buses every time it will bust. Like it will go to the charts. Fucking your single will go number one. It will be the tune. Like Skepta drops a tune today. You know what I'm saying? That's even like with that flipping the tune with J5 and um, J5, even that tune, even the tune yeah. he made with um, what's his name? Um, Slow Tie, for example. So the yeah. tune he made with Slow Tie. Effectively, that's the single, and because Skepta was on it, bro, that's that bust the tune. Yeah. Like he's a pop star in the sense of he makes good, mu- he makes music that will blow. Everybody listens to Skepta. If Skepta drops a tune, this set and saying this is my single for my album, this song, bro, everyone's gonna listen to it straight, straight. If Skepta drops a tune right now, everyone's gonna listen oh. to it. That's what I mean by pop. Well, being star, a pop star is defined by success. Yeah, I yeah. I wouldn't say in, gri- in grime, Skepta's the king for me. Bro, even black music, bro. Skepta could do what the fuck he likes, bro. Damn, so that kind of brings me onto the topic. What do Segway. we think of Skep- Segway King? Come on, Segway. come on, come on. What do we think of Skepta retiring from music in Thank 2021? God, bro. That nigga shit as fuck, man. He's so shit rapping. God damn. <laughs> damn, I can't. I'm, I, I still need to go tear in. Skepta's my favourite artist of all time. I'm joking. Big up Skepta. <laughs> now, what, what did you say, Razor? Sorry? No, just... This, this, this... These takes... No, nah, he's problematic. Okay. He's problematic. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Have you seen Joe Budden? Um, I'm like Joe Budden. Okay. But yeah, go on, Razor. Why? Like, for me, do you know what yeah, it is? I get it. Mm. I get it. So man's 38, fam. True. He's got a daughter what and a family. What is there for him to do in terms of rapping as well? Nothing. Bro, he's like the he's like the king of this shit. Like, he's done like, everything. Like, everything there is... There is to do. He's done it. Yeah, he's not gonna stop being skept to the creative and skept to the fucking. Damn, you know what he's going on to. Like he's going on to what Kanye West is doing. Yeah, that's what he's going the fashion to. Mm. But the thing is, he's there's dropping there's the, SKS. He's oh dropping the crepe soon, isn't it, fam? The blue ones. Mm. Kelvin's. They look cold. Nah, I'm, I'm copying them. I'm copying yeah. them. I don't care. No, nah, it's sad. Like, not not really sad, but he's, like you said, he's been here for ages, man. He's but been fam, doing this it's time. It's what happens in life, isn't it? Mm. Everything mm. evolves, everything moves on, everything changes. So like, it's like, I think you're still making the new ones, isn't it? Basically. You still make the odd tune here or there, though. You still like make like producer tune here. Like, like, he's gonna be yeah, like, yeah. I hope. I'm not gonna lie. I hope it's a bit like a Jay Z retirement, where it's like, mm. okay, I'm retired. Yeah, but once okay, I'm not retired again. I'm gonna release an album. No, once in a while, I step in. Yeah. I think it'll, I think it'll be like that. That's what I think. I, I don't think he'll so. stop making music. But you know what it is? He probably, obviously, he's got a daughter now, so he probably wants to focus on that. Like, that's... Especially in 2021, that's a big task, isn't it? Like, anyone who has a daughter, like, you obviously got to be there, innit? So it's like... 
Are you I having a child or something? Bro? I understand it. Are you having a youth <laughs> or something, bro? Like, what the fuck? Um, slightly, slightly, slightly. Oh, shit. Slightly, slightly. No, no, I'm no, telling no, his baby no. mama. Like, congratulations, man. That's no, a good, no, no, I'm going to no, be no, there. No, no, no. When the club's but, open, I'm going to be there. <laughs> but honestly, not on a level, fam. Like, it's it's a mad time, isn't it? I can't even lie. Like, it's a mad yeah. time, too. So. That's why you got to strap up, my niggas. Strap up, my niggas. He just wants to settle down with Adele, man. Who? I, can't I, can't I would as well. Hold watch. She's looking, I can't actually hold walkage. She's looking all right. Walkage. Oh she's looking. God. She's looking bro, all I was, right. I can't, like, I was, oh my god! You, mm. <laughs> yeah, so you can't. You can't be. You can't be putting on bars. Oh yeah, it's true. Actually, I can't. Fuck. Yeah, I've got me. mad respect for it though, and I don't want to be involved in these kind of conversations. Do you, know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? He's an artist, bro, and he knows that if he does a song with Adele. The bag now, is he wants to come like heady, in it, fam. He wants to come with the, the Adele song for him. Oh, oh, that wonder song. That wonder song was re- oh my god. That's so sad. Oh. Banger. But um, yeah, no, kind of on the next topic, I wanted to ask you, Razor, like who obviously you got a show and represent and that so like who do you think are the next guys in Grime? Because obviously it's it's political at this time, isn't it? There's a lot of Brief well, even, well, for me, it's not. For me, it's easy. Yeah. It. I've seen it all the time, and there's Mike, of course. Mm. Yeah, he's dope. I like cold. him. So cool. Um, Mike, of course, is in my opinion, he's probably the most talented. Yeah, um, he's like, dope. Like, I can't like because you can do the drill thing as well. Mm. You can do the drill thing. You can, can rap on every anything. Yeah, you can. You can go back and yeah. forth. Freestyle. Yeah, you can do war dance. He's got, you know what he's got? You know when you've got that presence, that's what it is. Mm. A grime MC fair, needs the presence. To be fair though, that's similar to even you, Razor, bro. Like you have that presence, like when you're on mic. Well, you got it as well, still. Like that thing where you can just, when man's on mic. When yeah, you, like, you, take, you take over the room, that's yeah, what it is, basically. That's the bitch's code. Do you know what that came from? For me, like, it was just because I'm not, like, certain men are loud, like, loud, loud, like, and I'm... I'm not loud like that, innit? Like, I'm, if anything, sometimes I get squeaky. Do you know what I mean? So that's I come with a Bane like, voice. What? That, that's that Bane voice, bro. I just start, but when he starts rap, I'm like, brother, Bane fam. It just sounds like Bane. Fam, do you know what it is as well? Like, I'll call people and they don't have my number safe and they'll be like, hello, oh, Razor, are you saying what? And I'm like, yeah, how did you know it was me? And they're like, ah, oh, fam, it sounded like you, innit? So. Uh, you got that's, a distinctive voice still. Yeah. That's the lane that I try to cut into, innit? Like, because I was never going to be like the loudest MC or the MC that was going to make you stop talking or listening to whatever what else you were listening to because I took over like that, innit? Mm. But yeah, I think Michael Kors is cold. He's got like that tone and mm. he spits a lot of real shit that I think is like positive. Like, where he's like, I think he's like 22, 23 or whatever. Mm. I think it's like, if men are like his age, younger, looking up to him, some of the stuff that he's saying is actually sick for them to fucking hear. Mm. If bare MCs are talking, you know, I don't really care what you're talking and like I was saying before, I don't really judge people in terms of like, oh, this is what I No, but if you're speaking crud and you're not not living it, it's a bit mad. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. That's why I think it's a bit wash. It's a bit mad. Like, you're, you're spreading negative to the youth and you're not even living it. Like, that's a madness to me. Yeah, but a lot, of, a lot, a lot of people do that though. At the end of the day, which is kind of a bit. Fun. Um, that's wrong to me. I can't even lie. Like, yeah, but at least fact, like you gotta be, you like it's gotta be your reality. Like obviously, I can see Mike. Of course, he he seems like it's his reality, and he's just being him. And like, but to be fair though, even even we're speaking as if like that's all he raps about. Like he's no, so no, technically he sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, when, yeah. When, I've, when I've when I've heard him like rap, yeah. That bro, that just, just shelling it, just on a technical level of breaking like that, like, that like words down and that like he's proper proper sick. So it's not even a thing where he, that's just what he's rapping about. But I get what you're saying. Some people they just rap it to rap it, but like with my man, his thing just set different. So he just even if he wasn't on the roads, I think man could even rap a kind of crazy thing. Yeah, but, yeah. and I different. can't lie. Obviously, like this is a selfish thing to do, bro. But I got a shout, out, loveliness in it, like. He's been in this thing for like over ten years, and yeah, like, bro. Like Nov, he's Nov, stuck Nov, to like, his guns. Hold tight, Nov. Yeah, but discussing Nov in like these kind of conversations is almost like disrespectful to Nov. Like yeah, he's a part yeah, of yeah, yeah. these man. Like obviously, I get what you're saying. In but terms man's of, like, twenty-four. Like, you gotta remember that man's back, twenty-four. Yeah, I understand it, but like, how, wait, how, like, sad note. How old are you? Like around what? How old am I? 
I'm 26, I'm older, fam. I'm older, fam. See, look at the way he's muffling, bro. He doesn't want to tell these bitches, fam. He's a, he's a liar in these streets, bro. <laughs> but man's 17, fam. I'm going to be, I'm going to finish my A-levels next year. Look at this, this is your mean, bro. F. Nah, nah, B, I'm, I'm gonna be 27 in July, bro. Brother, Fam, we're the same age. We're yeah, same I'm gonna be 27 in June. Yeah, right, I'm gonna be 27. Oh, yeah, side note, yeah, come to our event 25th of June. We're having an event in Camden. Come through in it. Bro, he's looking at you like, nah, nigga. <laughs> I ain't got nowhere, goddammit. Yeah, if you want, in it, if you want, if you want. Come true, bro. I'm there. Bro, do you like white bitches? After the 21st. <laughs> Wait, 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 For the purposes of this like, recording, yeah, I want to be clear of my answer. I have nothing against white bitches. I just personally don't find myself dating white bitches. Bro, man's going for the Nubian queens, yeah? Come on. God damn. Okay, so you, so you, so you like them ebony? Anyway, someone told me... <laughs> Prime, what we're going to be talking about here. Edit, edit that out. Edit all of that out. No, keep it in. We're keeping it in. We're keeping it in. We're keeping it in. We're keeping it in. Now, to be honest, yeah, I mean... Fam, this is uncut, fam. There's no filter, fam. It's whatever. No, you, you know what this is? This is like a so. £20 tier on Patreon. <laughs> all of this way, uncut. Yeah, Rezzy, you get none of that money, by the way. Just you know what it is? Like, nobody... <laughs> none of that no, money. You mean... No, none of the money. Oh, yeah, but it's your Patreon. Why would I get money? Jeez. That's why, that's why I like this guy. Nigerian. Are you Yoruba, by the way? No. Don't, whoa. No. Are you, are you Igbo? No. I'm special. A- so I'm, I'm, what, what, wait, what are you? I'm, I'm, I'm a sly one. I'm a robo. I'm that as well, you know? No, you're not. You're from Sierra Leone. What the yeah, hell are you talking about? I told bro? you I'm an Why would Nigerian. you lie? Oh my god. I'm on my life. Sierra Leone. You're literally not from Nigeria. You can't yeah. be from the same place as him. If yeah, you're not yeah, from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, same. No, nah, no, nah, wait, 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 wait. Let me land. 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 Oh my god. Let me land. Let me land. I've got two on both sides. I've got two grandparents, great grandparents that are Nigerian. And on my mum's side. They're hero, bro. They what? Hey. He knows, in it. No, 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 no. I, he I knows. know. As he well. said it. I say it one more time. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? They're hero, bro. Hero, bro. <laughs> I don't know about that, bro. One more time. I don't know how you say it, Razor. <laughs> it was a hero, bro. So you're lying. You don't even I'm know where the lying. fuck I'm you're coming from. Truth, you're from Sierra Leone and you're suddenly from Nigeria as well. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh, hey, man. That's, that's where I get my savage side from, still. That's why you're wearing a fucking bonnet and a fucking hat, bro. You dickhead. Fam, that's how whoa, I get the girl them, innit? Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't so. tolerate any bonnet slander. Exactly, fuck fam. Come you on. Even let me give this nigga smoke. Fuck. Right. Fam, the bo- Fam, do you know how... Uh, let me not talk, innit? Let me no, speak. speak. Nah, let me not talk. I don't want to talk. I'm leaving all of this in, so it's fine. I don't want to talk. I don't want to give away the secrets, innit? So let me not talk. What secrets? <laughs> just, just, just... Let me um, keep it quiet, innit? Don't me, like, robo. Man, Razor know, knows. I don't know where the H came from. That's what I'm saying. Must say hero. Man, obviously, man said, said it in the ceremony. I'll carry by. I'll smash up this entire. I said I will break this house. But Pity. on a level, on a level, I got two grandparents that are Nigerian. In it. That's honest. That's nice. Same. 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 Yeah. Cool. cool. Marco, cool. finish off the. Cool. Come on. Obviously, Marco's got Nigerian grandparents as well. So yeah. Same. Cool. So when did you when did you turn into a snowflake, mate? Huh? When did you turn into a snowflake? Oh, uh, you know what, yeah? It's, it's not, not about got... being a snowflake. Snowflakes don't say stuff because they're worried about what other people think. Yeah, black to yeah. smoke to you, isn't it? Huh? Black to her. Did they get on to you? No, 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 no. They scared I've me. I've never been smoked. Do you know what the thing is here as well? They scared me so much. I'm, I'm very real with my opinion, isn't it? Mm. I mean, you got to be just, fearless in this thing, fam. I just fling it out. It is what to, it is. To be fair, I like... fling it out, I don't care. To be fair, at the end of the day, if your opinion's not fucked up, now it doesn't matter what you say. It's when your opinion's fucked up, you actually deserve all the smoke you get. Like if your opinion's fine, like just say say what you want to say. But when say it with who's, your chest, who's, who's tweet is that a tweet that everyone always screenshots? The one that's like cyberbullying is not real. It's Tyler the Creator. Just turn off the computer. Oh, yeah. Like it's me, true, though. yeah, a whole me, the... a whole me getting upset about Twitter. Impossible. Yeah, but like, like different go go to bed and sleep. <laughs> 
simple. Yeah, but it's different for people. Some people don't have the self esteem to like you know Bam. tear that away. Because like the way the w- dudes, yeah on Twitter, yeah, that when we're outside, when we go back outside, they are done. No, do you know it's, no, it's the man on Clubhouse. I've been seeing the past year doing up madness, and they're gonna see man in a fucking rave Whoa, on the strip, friend. and it's Whoa. peak. Man's got the box. Hey, fam, now, side note, yesterday, I, I was going through Twitter. No, and this, no, this is serious, actually. I saw one guy, like, talking about domestic abuse on Clubhouse. I'm thinking... Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I actually saw that as well, yeah. Bro, the thing is, yeah, that's... Because um, the guy was basically saying about, like, how he banged up his baby mom or something. Fam, bro, the way I would have checked him differently, fam. Bro, that's it's what I mean, though, about like, that, though. It's like, you go... Hey. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't argue with man on the internet like that no more. Bro, I, used, I, I used to have energy. I delete it, no, I do. That's what it is. No, I, I do. I screenshot your picture because everybody goes short at Chinna. Standard. Everybody goes short at Chinna. Standard. As long as I, I've got a good memory in it, if I screenshot your picture, I'm like, bro, that's the you that banged up his baby. Bro, that's the you that said suck your baby. But the thing is, but, but, cool. but, but, but that's fucked is like a lot of men won't even check a guy like that. But let's say that guy in that same room was saying something. Obviously, I know it's not right, but let's say you're saying stuff like it was like he was like he was saying stuff like he's gay and whatnot. Yeah, but let's say he's a homosexual. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of men would x him out for that. Do you know what I'm saying? They'll do everything they can to x man out for that when that's nothing wrong with that. But if a man is talking about like you're saying banging up his baby mom, people only like step in and do that, which I don't really understand. And that man kinda... was shook. That's what it is. But I just think yeah. it's childish, though, because at the end of the day, like, if you want to X something out of your situation, you'll do it. And it shouldn't be a thing where women are feeling, like, so... How can I say it? Like, they're feeling, like, not, not safe and whatnot, just because of how men they move. But men they move wild for no reason. They even oh, see that... Yeah, you see the other day when all the women were sort of saying, well, no, man them were sort of saying, oh, women on the internet, what can I do? Um, I feel really bad about what's going on. What can I do? And women were being like, oh, across the world, this, that, and the other. I've distilled it down into three words, and it is very simple instruction. Leave women alone. It's bare simple. Nah, uh, yeah, you, you're onto something. You're onto Leave something. women alone. It's bare simple. On my mother's, yeah, my I, I, got, I got raised, yeah, by a ruthless Nigerian woman who was raised by another ruthless Nigerian woman, in it? So there isn't no misogyny in my house. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come out here and be like, oh, I'm perfect. I've never catcalled a woman. I've never done something dangerous. I've never done this. I've never been, you know, I've never made a woman feel uncomfortable or whatever, you know what I mean? But from an early age, I was even aware that like, there were things that my mom had told me or made me see as normal that other people didn't see as normal. Even other Nigerian people, other West African people, you know what I'm saying, in it? But like, generally, my mom's mantra, down to every person, doesn't matter where you're from or you're on, yeah, it's just like, leave people alone. Leave people the fuck alone. Like, if they haven't asked you to be up in their space, like, leave them alone. But, then, but even with that, though, we even need to do more, though. We need to do more, though. Like, we need to kind of, if we see a man doing the next thing with the next girl, that's fucked. We even need to step oh, in. Hand off. If we see someone not leaving her yeah. alone, then we need to... We need to step in. Bro, you, need to be... her, you know what I'm saying? But it would all be solved if my man left her Exactly, alone. of course. If my man just left him alone, that's calm. But it's a, it's a thing where it's, not, it's still socially acceptable to harass women. Like, that's the... That is fucked to say, and, I, and it's, it's, it's fucked to say, but it is socially acceptable for a man to harass a woman. But a man then will harass women in clubs and he would just be in a club, like, you know what I'm saying? He harassed a woman, then he moved on to X, Y, and Z. Whereas it shouldn't be, it should be a thing where a man has harassed a woman and everyone's like, whoa, like, what the fuck? Like, it shouldn't be a thing where people are comfortable to do that. But, like, I think that that just comes from over time shit. Like, like we need to just over time kind of, like, change that mindset. Yeah, but, what, but why is it, though, that we've, like, got to the stage where certain men have to ask women what we should do? Like, exactly like what Razor yeah, said. Like, just leave them the fuck alone. Like, no, but we've you, missed the. You, you, you don't want like if they, if you don't fuck with someone, you don't want them in your personal space. But okay, I want to so ask who who what well, what kind of a woman wants like some random guy on the street like stalking her. I want to ask her, you like, all you man a question though, like just one question: Have you asked a woman or like, like a girl you know about like how their situations are in clubs and that? Have you yeah. like have you just asked? Yeah, of course. And of course. if you haven't, fair enough, because every man like if you every man has seen this. Ask a girl you know, and you'd be surprised at what you hear, and you actually understand like how serious the situation is. But 
Like, can we need to do better though on that on that front? I'll say. Oh, like if you want to understand how, especially if you're a black man, yeah, if you're a black man listening to this or watching this, yeah, you want to understand how women feel about men. Think about how you feel about Jake. Mm. I didn't do anything. Mm. I wasn't. I wasn't looking for their trouble. I was minding my own business. Mm. I'm still gonna come for you. Harass. They'll seek you out and harass you. Harass. Because they feel like it's their right to do that. Even even a lot of men, I think one thing you need to think of is: Have you f- ever found that you're chatting to a girl, you're trying to like move to her, she's saying she's not interested, you're not hearing that, but then she says, "I've got a man," and then you start, you go, oh, "Okay, fair enough, that makes sense." Even something like that, a woman has to go and say she's in a relationship with another man for you to understand that's not a girl to approach. She can't just say she's not interested, and that's kind of like the world we live in. We kind of need to do better on that front of giving a bit more power back to women because it, at the moment it's so lopsided to us. That you, know what the problem, you know what the main the main problem I think now though is yeah social media is making us talk about some of these fucking you see the way that we're talking about this now yeah like social media is making this is is turned into a bit like a you know when we were talking earlier about clout and it's like oh say this say that and get this point get that point and like people will like. Basically, brothers that are dangerous are realizing that, like, it's not okay to be dangerous. Mm. But you can extend your proximity to women, like, or seeming safe if you say the right things. And this is mm. part of the right things. So I tweet this, I say this, I do this. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. So, yeah, that's why for me, I, I feel like it does come to a case of leave women alone, like, mm. more time because I'm not going to lie, like, from young, if a girl's not interested in me, I've known that. Bro, like, I've known it. Like, I've known it. Bro, it's I've known it. Like, every guy it's knows it, fam. Honestly, that's what I'm bro. saying. If you every feel, guy knows it, fam. Even if you're not sure, if you're not sure, then it's a no. Bro, because I'm telling you, like, it's not the end of the world. Like, man, them, like, if she's not onto you, bro, it's cool. Move on. Like, you don't need to like force a situation. I don't need to happen. And it's, I think a lot of man, a lot of man, are t- man up. Bro, I'm saying we need to just be, bro, spinning jaws. Jungle. See it happen. And you start wearing in. I'm not going to lie. All the talking about, like, oh, what can I do to make women say? The next yeah. time you see your brother that's yeah. doing something mad. Punch him up. If you're, if, you're not, if you're not built like that, you need to grab four other brothers, innit? And that's where we all know. That's where we all need to be on it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because That's the thing. Sometimes the brother who sees it, sometimes mad shit happens. Mm. The brother who sees it, He's yeah, like, oh, like that. Oh, yeah. My brethren, mm. when all of this stuff was going on, she was even telling me, like, Something happened to her, and the guy that was with her as like her friend on that evening that was trying to help, and she felt concerned for his safety. Imagine somebody's doing a madness to you, and you're more concerned for that man's safety because you know, like, oh, there's a she was thinking that oh, there's a chance that this guy won't want to beat me up because I'm a woman. Hopefully, he'll definitely not feel a type of way about beating up this brother. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what. That's what we're dealing with, isn't it? But so the, but the that's why is, everyone needs to be on on whatever the code is, isn't it? Realistically, mm. like, bro, it should be uh, the yeah. same way, bro. The same way, like, man, then will get onto someone that snitches, bro. It should be the same way, like, if you see a man harassing a girl, you're giving him like smoke. If man, them know, yeah, ah, oh, if I harass this girl, I'm like gonna receive X amount of smoke. Like, the man, they won't chat to me. I X out the group, like, X out of my group. But like, man, them will bang me up when they see me, bro. And as fucked as it is, man, them just won't do it. But when you're doing a thing where, like, man, them, you see my man doing, like, fruity shit and you're just going, oh, well, that's just my man. Like, oh, that's, you're just on the next thing. You know, what do you mean on the next thing? But when you see him, smack him up and be like, yo, like, we don't do that. You know what up. we need to do? We need to make abusing women carry the same social stigma that Licking Pussy did in 2007. That's what we need to do. We need to We need We need to and I told you, my mum listens to everything that I, I, I do in it. If I do an interview, she'll listen to it. If I want a pod. Even though I'm certainly an advocate for that, but you know what? You're, you're right, you're right, you're right. And Because thing is, yeah, it's this... Wait, did you just say? I, 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 what, did you, I, what did he just say? <laughs> oh, this was burst, you know? Oh, my God. But I'm not. I'll say it in my chest. Yeah, I'll say it in my chest. Uh, I'm, like, I'm an advocate, in it, fam. I ain't going to lie. Oh, you're a fan I'll of the sandwich. Fam, when I say something, I say it in my chest, isn't it, fam? It is what it is. Uh, honestly, I was going to say, of what, Bo-Cat? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Man wants, man wants a sound bite. I swear, bro. That's what, see, they're trying to get you, Razor. I got you, don't worry, bro. Um, you know what it is? Don't get me. You know what it is? Oh, no. I want, bro. We're every man do, every man do what they feel comfortable with, isn't it? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Huh? Is that your answer oh. to this whole thing? Um, nah, every man nah. do what do what you feel comfortable with, isn't it? Like, nah, good, yeah, everyone's yeah. finished. That, that's the conclusion. Anybody who's seen the the, the checklist of girl I've got knows that I finished because they were like, "This brother, no way, he must what? be like, an extra." So how can you he do that, man? Like, an extra. To be fair, though, I'm a virgin, so like I've never. I just. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mm. Virgin, yeah. Yeah, go to church on Sunday. Yeah. You think, Jar? No, nah, but like destigmatize it. Get me. That's why Skeptics are living legend forever. Because he was one of the first. Oh, he was one of the first to put, put it all up in a bar. He's munching on the coochie. All I'm saying is, yeah, man, them want beef and they want smoke. So fight, man, them not abusers. Because there's bear them. There's bears of them. So it's, yeah, man, it's true. It's part well, of the man down 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 fucking up abusers, man. Exactly. Well, yeah, we, should, we, should, we should realign the whole road paradigm around beating up abusers. You don't that. get points a road for the ops. You don't get points for killing backs. You don't get points for trapping in the bando. You get points for punching up different levels of abusers. You punch up something, you, you get five points. You punch up a domestic violence, you only get 10 points. Punch up a rapist, you get 50. Ding, 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 ding. I, I, road, punch, I mean... Roadside yeah, reform. We're going to change the roads. Change the roads one one, the roads. one 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 bad man block at a time. That's where. Ching ching ching. But yeah, no, to kind of wrap up like Riz has like. <laughs> <laughs> to wrap up on what's been the most. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't lie, no, wait, wait, before you wrap up, I can't lie, bro. This has been a like a fun podcast. This has been this, sick. Yeah, bro. this has actually been my favorite podcast. Yeah, but this has been sick. Um, like, you know, this is that man. Day job, man. I make content for a living, isn't it? I like, love this. So, I make boring content. Do not invoice us. Don't, don't invoice us. Oh, no, 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 no. You won't get the money. Fun. You can it's invoice fun. all you like. Mm-hmm. Uh, bro, I'm not going to lie, yeah? Man's invoiced bare people that I work for, and they just they just looked at the invoice and went... <laughs> oh, no. No, speak. What companies? Tell us more. No, 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 no. Do you know what, yeah? I have a lawyer, and... Oh, I see what he did. He cut so his the, the, the lawyer, the lawyer cut it. No, I was dead. I was the, dead. The, the he had to cut his internet. He had to cut his internet. He said so, lawyer and the lawyer was like, nah, He actually it. cut his internet. He's like, nah, not today. Or an L slips. Oh, nah, mate. This is ridiculous. I can't, I can't believe the lawyer actually cut off his internet. Bro, I can't. Like, yo, that's how you know you... Bro, we were pressing the wrong the button. The Denzel's burst, you know. Oh, no, I'm finished, bro. Look at me. Oh, I'm actually done. Yeah. That's what I said to wrap up, so I was about to pull <laughs> I off. Swear. Off. I was like, when's this thing going to wrap up? Because I can't lie, bro. Guys, looking at the message. But well, yeah, Razor's kind of gone. But yeah. That's gone. episode. He's coming back on. Oh, look oh at Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What your lawyer oh, said, nah. Your, your cool. lawyer actually cut you off. Your lawyer cool. cut you off. What, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Bro, uh, what happened? Bro, Bro, the, 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 the lawyer what happened? cut your internet, you know? Exactly. The lawyer cut your internet. That's what we saw. Wow. It's Illuminati. That's what happens. Oh, yeah, Razor, I'm going to say this to you. Like, I'm slightly bursting it, so I'm going <laughs> to... Like, so he's gonna do, he's gonna do. Nah, he's gonna go on the hit. We're not gonna end nah, it. He's, he's gonna go on the hit.